Welcome to the Alchemistic Laboratory. In this tutorial, we're going to make a pylon from the Protoss race in the video game of StarCraft. This is a stylized version, and I think it's a very good tutorial to start making in plasticity. Later, when you go to Blender and put some materials, it should look something like this. I also appreciate if you can like, share, and subscribe. This helps me a lot and motivates me to continue bringing these tutorials. So now let's start doing this model. Okay, first things first. We go to the cube, delete it, go to the front view. Now I'm going to use this reference image. I like the stylized version of this pylon, so I'm going to try to replicate it. So let's start doing this shape here. We need a control point curve. And what we will do is draw a shape, click here in the middle, go a bit out. Then we click somewhere here, click, again, click and in the intersection. So now we have this shape. You can refine it at home. This is just for the tutorial. So now what we need to do, you see that this curve is wavy as if it's a, an S shape. So we go to the side view and we try to keep this curvature. So we go, we move this point a bit to the back and this point we can move like this. Okay, something like this. So now what we need to do is take care of this part here in the middle. So we will continue with control point curve. We click here and we just make this kind of shape. So you see that it looks like um, a vertical eyebrow. So once we have the shape, what we need to do is extrude it to the side, hide this curve. And what we need to do is loft it from this face to this curvature, L to loft. So now we have this shape, this one I can delete, this one mirror and join. So we have this, this shape already. So what we can do next is uh, give some thickness to it. So for this, I press F and look for thicken and we have this thickness. Now, if by any reason in your model, it doesn't, it doesn't thicken. Another way to do this is to press shift D move it to the back. So this duplicated version will give us the thicken. We can grab the contour of both faces and we can press L to loft. Either we give this curvature already or in G0. This is up to you. I will leave it in G1, probably is much better. So now you have this solid shape. This curve I can hide. Now let's make this margin that is around the object. And what we can do is press O to offset. And let's make an offset around so. So now what we need to do is we need to make this inverted T shape. Okay, so for this, let's make a control point curve. Let's draw it a bit like this. And so mirror it. And then you can imprint it, shift I to imprint. And we have the shape. Okay, so now let's make the impression down. So for this, we grab a control point curve, draw some curve like this, mirror it, join it and imprint it. Let's push these two faces inside. So I'm going to grab this and these and offset them inside. Okay, this is working. Now, if by any reason it doesn't want to offset because this is quite a complex shape, what you can do is graph a line, just draw it like this, and we will use it to extrude this in the direction of the curve. So I'm going to graph this face and this face, press E to extrude, V to pivot, and we pivot it on this direction of the curve. We just push it a bit inside. And now it's extruding it. So let's press 10. So something like this and accept. So you can use either offset or extrude in the direction we want if one or the other doesn't work. This curve that we already drew, I'm going to press C to cut the object. And what I want to do is scale it on the Y axis and also on the set. So as you see, it should, um, it should have the shape. So now it actually needs to be smaller on the X. So something like this, I think it's okay. And I accept. I need to be sure that it 
this object is inside of these faces. So for this, I'm going to press G and make sure that it is actually inside. So you see it has mesh outside in everywhere. Okay, this is perfect. You can, if you don't like this piece here, you can also cut the object or you can do also something. I want to grab these faces, this and this. We can also scale them. And this should flatten the object more. So, but uh, here it's coming a bit outside. So this is also useful. That's why we can grab again this face and this face. And let's put them a bit down, scale them, and down. For example, like this. Now everything is correct. Let me hide these curves because they distract me. And we have some sort of this shape. Okay, so now it's only a matter of giving some details. So for this, let's make this middle detail. So I'm going to grab a circle. I'm going to move it a bit in front. Duplicate it, move it down, for example, there. And I'm going to draw a straight line that is tangent and also tangent to tangent on the other side, T to trim. So I only have this curve and I'm going to imprint it. So now I'm going to press these faces and could actually move them inside. Doesn't look so bad. And actually I'm going to grab the curves and offset it, something like this. And just, just put it out. We can start giving some, some hard fillets, something like this, it's not so bad. Uh, let's make this delete the redundant topology. And now we can grab this one and this one this one and this one and make some hard fillets too. Okay, so now our shape is almost finished, but I'm not so sure about this leg. I feel it too long. So I'm just going to move it a bit up like this and I'm going to push it in front. Okay, it seems okay. Now, as you saw, as you remember, these faces we just put a bit down and so much better. So what we can do next is we can boolean these two, Q and Q. So it's a single object. And these faces, we can just maybe push a bit out, make a hard chamfer, and just add the details you like. So for example, here I would like to add this kind of shape. Craft the face, push it out, and something like this. So it's only a matter of adding the details that you like at home. And I think we can already delete all these curves and we have our first object. So now what we need to do is we need to do almost the same thing for the other leg. So this we, this we can hide. I will put leg 01. Now I'm going to hide it. Okay, so now we need to do the similar thing. I'm going to grab a control point curve and make a similar workflow. And I'm going to grab this point in the middle Move it like this, a bit in front. So it has this curvature. And I'm going to do the same for the front part. Like this and so. Something like this. I'm going to grab this, extrude it to the side and loft it. Okay. Now mirror it, join it. And what we need to do is keep some thickness. I'm going to duplicate it, move it a bit to the back, maybe scale it a bit. Like this. And I'm going to loft it. Now G1 seems to be okay. And I grab everything and join. So now it is a solid, this curve we can hide. And we add details too. So I see that there is some sort of the same T-shape, but now it's, oops, now it's correctly like this. I mirror it, imprint this. So now we have this, but we need to have the offset. 
So I'm going to press O to offset it like this. Now we have the margin. I will also print these curves with Drew. I'm going to grab a line to give us a direction where I want to extrude it. So I'm going to grab this face, this face, E to extrude, V to pivot, something like this. And I'm going to make something like this. And what I want to do is maybe offset this a bit inside. So I think it's okay. Another detail like this. I'm going to scale the circle, imprint it, grab this face, push it inside. I'm going to grab this, this, offset it. Now for some reason it doesn't want to offset. Now if it doesn't want to offset, I'm going to do the opposite, like this. And I'm going to grab these edges, this sort of detail. Now I need to leave some space here. This space down here, I will grab these faces. Now when I offset this, if I continue further, it, it should start it should start making a hole in the object. So this is another way to do it if somehow in this case it didn't want it to, to offset. So this is just another way to do it. So now I have this part and I'm going to just make this shape. Okay, so now you see that I have my the other piece of the pylon. So I think basically that is the most complex part of this model. Now I will not hide these models and I'm going to grab this one of these, put it there. I'm going to rotate the other one 90 degrees and move it to the right. Now I'm going to draw a circle so that I can position these two in a relatively similar diameter. So something like this. And then this object, we can just mirror it. And this object, we can mirror it again. And so now we have the objects outside the crystal. So now we can start drawing our ring shape. So for this, we can scale this circle already. So let's make something like this. Grab this face, make a cylinder. And now we need to make the hole. So for this, I grab this face, press O to offset, something like this. Okay, so now we have this. Now we can grab this and this, make something like this. So now we have this part. And if you like, you can leave it like this, or you can maybe grab this face and press X to delete, and it should now be correct. So I'm going to grab these two sides, and I'm going to make a hard chamfer. Maybe I scale it a bit more, so not so much, like this. Okay, so we can start doing some just, I'm going to do some little details that you can improve at home. So I'm going to draw a line around here. I'm going to imprint it. So I grab this part, Shift D to make a curve, press P, and we can just Boolean it. We can mirror this. like this, Q, and I will leave it like this. I don't find it so bad. So I'm going to delete all the curves, and now we need to do the crystal. So for the crystal is quite simple. Let's do, for example, this regular polygon, and shift and mouse wheel. With shift and mouse wheel, we can make more numbers. So for example, I'm going to do it like this. And I'm going to make it a prism. So now I will try to make the crystal size. I'm going to scale it so it's a bit fatter. What I need to do is give this crystal shape. So for this, it's relatively simple. And we need to grab this object, these two objects, and make it in the center, like this. Now it's better. OK, returning to our crystal, let's just cut some Let's do some lines, random lines. So, okay. And these lines, I'm just going to cut the, the object. Now delete these pieces, do the same on this other side, 
use some random lines. Cut this object, delete the extra pieces. And now we can just play around with some hard chamfer. So in this case, we can grab something like this. And it's just a matter of, of playing around with this. I'm trying to do it a bit fast so that you so that we don't waste too much time here. You can also rotate some faces. So we have some sort of a, a crystal. You can improve it at home, but for me, I think it's okay. Now try not to try not to leave so many flat faces. So we have our crystal. We don't hide everything. We rotate it a bit, and I think it's ready. Now we can delete the curves, and I see that there is something is inside. So for this, I'm just going to do it really quick. I'm going to duplicate one of these, put it a bit more inside, scale it a lot, like this. Probably we rotate it 180 degrees and we just duplicate it, mirror it. We can rotate it so. And we can just maybe duplicate this ring, scale it. And I think we have our pylon, our stylized pylon. Now, if you want, you can also make a floor so that all the all of these are touching like clicks. Now I'm going to come to approach more this. And this one's and this one too. And there we have it. We have our stylized pylon. You, if you want to connect these together, you can just use a box that you can pull in them. But I will leave it like this. I think for the tutorial is quite enough. Okay, so after all this work, I'm quite sure you won't forget how to construct additional pylons. So now the only thing missing is bringing some materials to Blender. So now I'm going to bring my object and it doesn't look so bad. So now it's just a matter of making some materials. So Okay, now the render is finished. It looks quite cool. I like it. And remember, now it's up to you to make the details at home, make any shape you want. And remember, if you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. This helps me a lot. Remember, there is a tutorial that I'm selling in Gombro. If you want to further support me, you can check it down in the description below. And I think we can finally say, Excluto ad aurem. Until next time. Thank you.